Candace. And a very wheezy Candace as it as it is today. My asthma's killing me. Up. Oh. It is Mr. Padfoot and Mooney. Hi. Fist bump. High five. <coughs> I should have probably used my inhaler before I started this video, but whatever. Oh, you gonna cuddle? Oh, um. Like I said, videos are going to be few and far between right now, very sporadic. Um, just, it's just been non-stop, go, go, go with all this moving nonsense. I'm just totally knackered and hey, he's stressed out and confused because he knows something's going on, but, you know, it's throwing everybody off their game. Um, so we've just had... A lot going on this week, um, packing stuff up and, um, even though we had um, a big moving cell last weekend, um, I'm so tired I can't breathe, um, I, I'm still having people that's trickled in in the last week, uh, wanting to, that missed the cell, that was in, was interested in some stuff, so um, did that, and I've done two ways, no, three ways of donations, toys, plushes, clothes, bedding, um, dishes, all sorts of stuff. We've had a um, well the the first the first set of donations the plushes went to um, one of the homeless shelters and that I absolutely love, and this, I, I met somebody who, um, she helps run this, uh, no-kill animal shelter, um, around here, not too far from me, and they are opening up a thrift shop to sell stuff, so that all the money from the thrift shop goes to this, um, no-kill shelter, and, you know, while I think that, if you give a gift or a donation, what somebody does with it is really none of your business. At the end of the day, I'm glad I found this organization. I'd heard of them, but I didn't know that they were opening a thrift shop. But, like I said, at the end of the day, I am so glad that at least my donations are going to benefit animals instead of some pathetic drug addict. I'm sorry, I just... I, I I don't like drug addicts and alcoholics and my my opinion on that is human beings choose to harm and abuse themselves by the bad choices they make. Animals and even kids they don't ask to be harmed and abused. They don't make that choice. So I want to do something that benefits kids and animals and that's what I'm doing and I am very happy about that and me and Padfoot are doing these donations in memory of Miss Mahoney because we miss her so much and Padfoot and Mahoney were rescues so I'm happy to be doing it that way and I'm trying not to get emotional because it makes me feel so good that that me and Padfoot can do something for fellow rescue pets, right? So, but that's pretty much where we've been. Um, just a lot, a lot going on with that. I just, um, I was doing so much stuff lately. I just, I need a couple of days to rest. So, um, today I'm resting. Um, said so I can't even have a couple of days rest. I'm resting today. And then tomorrow I am working on Cleaning up and organizing the laundry room, getting um, a winter blankets wash because last night was daylight savings time change and all of a sudden it's cold here. It, it was hot as Hades yesterday and this morning it is cold. So I guess it's time to get the winter blankets from last year pulled out, washed, and on the bed so we can be warm. And 
hopefully soon once we get some of this furniture furniture um around the house out for donation um i can finish doing what packing i need to do still talking to realtors and stuff so we're working on getting that done right right one biscuit Thank you, because you hurt my leg. So, so good biscuit. Can I have a kiss? Give me a kiss. Thank you. All right, you're so cute. You're so cute. I'll beat you up. Yeah, beat you up. Give me five. Yeah. All right, get off me. That was fun. Just fun. Anyway, so. Let's dig in. I've got a post call to do. Um, and I actually have a another post call and another post call and an unboxing. So let's get to it. Uh, there was a couple items that I couldn't remember if I showed in my last post call video, you know, because all this all this stress and anxiety from the moving stuff, you know, I just can't brain. So, I can't remember if I showed, showed these off in my last video, but just in case, show them again. From London, 1888, it got this really cool, um, Alex DeLarge Clockwork Orange pin. So, love it! And I got this shirt from Fright Rides, and I think I did an unboxing for this on, or an unbagging for this. On Halloween, I think, I don't know, I was kind of tipsy on Halloween, so I don't remember. But I'll show it, show it to you again anyway, just because I can't stop looking at it. It's so gorgeous. But it's Beetlejuice. Laundry. And see, I'm wearing my Critters Fright Rag shirt, which is perfect for this one thing I have in the box. That I've been wanting to get my hands on for a very long time. And I finally made that happen. All that stuff is sticking to each other. Anyway, it is my very own Crite. And he's adorable. So this came from Amuck Time Toys. And who makes it? Monstars. Um, and Amok Time Toys has a second version of this from New I think it was New York Comic Con, New York City Comic Con. Um, and I have a pre-order for him, and hopefully he shall be in in the next couple weeks. But I wanted the set. So when I move and I'm in my little condo. I will have this amazing little guy. And I can't fully remove him. I know you want to see him, don't you? You've had your eye on him since he came in the other day. All right. This isn't quite working out from the top. I can't wait to get the other version. It's it's a kind of a, a dark brown and it's gonna look so sweet with this one. Now I'm just getting irritated. I don't want to run the box. I think somebody's at my door, so I'll be back. <laughs> and we're back. So, back to getting him out of the box without destroying it. No. Always complicated. <clears throat> Almost got him. There we 
we go. He's in this little case. And I wasn't going to untie him, but why not? I'll just have to put him back together. And there he is, in all his lovely glory. And he is a, a vinyl figure, like like Funko Pop, sort of. Um, but he's got real hair. He's flopped. <laughs> um, no, he just, he's, he's absolutely adorable. The other one um, that should be coming soon has long, like, longer hair, and it's dark brown, kind of similar to that color, but he's so cute, he goes well with my shirt, she want to see him now, there he is, hey, he won't get you, he gonna get you, you going to eat the doggy? I'm going to eat you, Padfoot! He's not quite sure what to think of it. So I'll set him over there so Padfoot doesn't take a notion to eat him. So next, um, I just found out that the Universal Monsters Funko Pops that were vaulted and I am crying because I thought something like that would just be around for a long time. Um, you know, especially with such a popularity of Universal Monsters. But, no such luck. And now I'm kicking myself that I didn't get them and I am just hating myself for that. Um, the only one that I have is Dracula. Um... I have one in the box and then I have one out the box because the first one I got was all smushed. So um, I sent a replacement. So now I've got two. Um, but that was all I had. So I did get for a good price. And But keep in mind, you get what you pay for. Um, I did get Phantom of the Opera. I got them on eBay for, I think, $14, $15. Um, he's one of the least expensive ones and the idiot that sent them just threw him in a box with no bubble wrap no protection and darn well knew that these were vaulted because he's upped his price now to like two and a half times the the amount I got this one for so he was well aware of this being a vaulted pop so he didn't bubble wrap it didn't put it any protection just threw it in the box and it rolled around willy-nilly, and it has a huge dent right across there. And, yeah, I was really pissed off about that. And it's got tear on the bottom. So, they wouldn't respond to my messages. And so I had to contact eBay, and they finally responded. And um, they're making it such a difficult hassle for the return refund issue so just like well, I'm gonna order another one um, from somebody else and pay a little bit more and take a chance hoping then oops hoping the next box doesn't show up damaged and I'll just I'll keep this one and display them outside the box and I'm kind of thinking when I move I might take most of my pops out of the box and then put the boxes away in the closet um, but we shall see. But he is really cool. Um, he's one of a few of the Universal Monster Pops that I wanted the most. Um, I had one Dracula achieve that goal. Then I wanted, um, Wolfman and Phantom next. So, I got one of the two that I really, really wanted. And he is really cool. I wish my my hands were a little bit bigger so I could turn them like everybody else does. But um, he's really awesome, Pop, and I like him. Uh, so the box is a little wonky, you know. I'll deal with it. Because in the end, these are my Pops. They're for me. So 
they're not going anywhere. You know, and people are going to get all bent out of shape when you say it, but many of us have said this. It, Funko Pops are nothing more than to what Beanie Babies were in the 90s. So, you know, I don't believe in all that's going to be a huge investment for the future. I mean, that's nonsense. Collect what you'd like and have fun with it, you know? But, whatever. So, the next thing we got, um, so if you remember, we got that awesome October um, box from the BAM box, the watching theme, and I got the Sam pin from Butcho Vision that said, I'm, as far as that guy goes, I'm not a fan of him personally, but he does have some good pins. And I, I do have another Sam pen from him that looks like a little Lego character. Um, so my, in my band box, I got the Sam pen, which out of all of them, that would have been I want the one I would have wanted the most. So I was happy to get them. But I really wanted the Chucky one as well, because y'all know I love my Chucky. So there he is. And I'd really like to get... The, um, Billy from Saw pin, um, the regular one, they, they did a one-up variant, which was red and black, and I think it's ugly, um, now I'd, I wouldn't mind adding it to my collection just because I like pins, and I like pins with horror theme, but honestly, I'd just rather have the regular one, and it's kind of hard to come by, any of these are kind of hard to come by, um, but if anybody has one and they want to get rid of, hit a girl up. But I've got the second one. I've got Chucky. He would have been second on my list. I'm not a huge fan of the Saw franchise. I like it. Um, I enjoy it. But um, not one of my favorites. But I would just like to have all three pins because horror pins are awesome pins. So, got him. Then I got this goodie from Cavity Colors. I've been waiting for it. I was sad I couldn't get all four in the set. Um, I would have liked to have the Crypt Keeper. And I know he has a couple more of the other ones, so I might go ahead and get those. But this one... Is just glorious. These are called... Um, Watch me draw all over the place. Creepy Carvers. And I got the late Carver. And looking at that, you know why. It's called Lake Carver. But he also did Chucky, the Crypt Keeper, and Leatherface. So I might get the Leatherface. Uh, well, maybe Chucky too, if they have any. But um, I'm bummed I missed the Crypt Keeper. I was kind of limited on funds that day. Darn you, Aaron, for always releasing this cool stuff before I have money. Um, this week they're doing um, reanimator stuff. Y'all know I love my Dr. Herbert West as well. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, what's this? Oh, yeah. And I forgot about this. See, it's been a long week. Um... I missed out on the Loot Crate DX. I was on the fence about it. Then I was kicking myself that I didn't get it because it was really, really awesome. Um, but I especially loved the freaking pin. I mean, the pin was glorious. Now, the pin they had in the regular Loot Crate was pretty freaking awesome. Um, but this one is just fantabulous. And it is Pinhead on top of the... I love the card. It's the Limit Figuration Configuration Cube. Glorious. Freaking amazing. Sweet. So, and the last thing in this awesome post call. My horror haul. This, um, this little guy is going for $30 and up. Well, 25 to 30 and up. Um, I saw him. I had to have him. He's really, really cool. I posted a picture of him on my Facebook yesterday and I told 
my awesome artist friend Lee Howard because um, I knew he, he would like this. I posted it and then I told him, I said, even though I think your custom figures are a million times better, but this thing was just still absolutely amazing. So I had to add it to my collection of figures. But it is a Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights 2016 Michael Myers figure. And the box is really cool. It looks like a little house. Michael's house. The window's on the side. And he pops out really easy. And I'm surprised it came in perfect condition. Because the person that sent it put it in a shipping envelope. Like similar to these. And, I mean, that was it. I mean... Don't these, again, don't these people understand that collectible means collectible? Treat it with respect. Uh, not to mention the person that's sending you money for said collectible. Respect them too, you know? But whatever. He arrived perfectly. That's all that matters. But here he is. And the knife, um, when I touched it, I just got a giggle out of it. It comes out of his hand. And it's just, it's like, really soft rubber. So at least if Padfoot got a hold of it, fingers crossed he doesn't. Because I don't want to dig through poo looking for that. Um, and I, I would totally do it, too. Um, don't want to ruin the figure. But I figured if it, if it came out and Padfoot got a hold of it, you know, it wouldn't hurt him because it's just real soft rubber. But it is a cool little vinyl figure. But it just reminded me a lot of um, the custom figures Lee Howard does. I mean, I think his are a lot better. You guys have seen my trickery trick or treat Sam he did for me almost a year ago. And he's, we've been discussing over the last few months um, a couple special ones I want him to do for me. So we're working on that soon. But I knew he would like this. I just, I think his are better. But this is really, really awesome. I really love it. And it's a welcome addition to our vinyl collection. Or any figure collection. Especially the horror, huh? So, that was really awesome. Get him back in there. Ugh. With it being cold and with me joint issues. I am not too coordinated today. He's easier to get out than put back in, let me tell you. I like the little box. There's also a matching pin, but um, people are selling them for like a crap ton. Um, sometimes more than the figure. So, i rather have the figure. And I, I did not pay anywhere near what what other prices are going for for this so i got him at a steal of a deal but that is it for our post call oh my god um this horror haul post call rocked it was amazing so we are about to do a, another post call video um from a good friend and we have a Hot Topic post-call haul. And then we have our Horror Block unboxing. So, which is late. Um, well, the box came late and I'm just late because I've been busy. So, that is it for us on this video. we got a lot to do and only one camera battery to get this done on. So, let's get her done. Who wants a biscuit? Here! Here! Come here! Move! Move! Get up, you lazy sod! Come here! Good boy! Say, Stay! What do we tell her? They say like! Like! Comment! Subscribe! High five! I love you! Oh, Oh, I love when you hug me back! You're so cute.
Go get your biscuit. <laughs> but that's it for us, guys. Peace.